the Performance Lab of California. Got another membership video today about plantar fasciitis. What that is, is when you're having um, pain at the bottom of the foot, usually it goes into kind of that, that heel area. Um, and so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go over some exercises that's going to help out with that, okay? I wanna start with really what is the, the key here, which is that the biomechanics of you know, what's going on um, which is that when if you have too flat of feet, that's commonly when you end up having the plantar fasciitis, or when you're just kind of you know utilizing a little bit too much of the, the bottom of your foot. So these types of people are going to be people that are going to be kind of walking on their toes, okay? Because what that's going to do is it's going to put a lot of pressure on the calves, which the calves go and connect under the bottom part of the foot, and so what's going to end up happening is all this area is going to be really tight, pull on the heel. Give you that that plantar fasciitis feeling um another thing is going to be if you have again two flat feet you're going to be utilizing too much of your peroneals okay the muscles on the outside part of your i guess shin bone um and so those those muscles go and wrap around the bottom part of your foot also will pull um a great deal there and will make it so then you end up having uh, the, the same pain Really, and, and I guess I'll go into one more. The last thing could be if you have like an ineffective balance, okay? So if you're walking, you really have to grip your toes all the time. That's gonna be a big reason why you'll end up with uh, plantar fasciitis as well. So this video is gonna help with all of those, okay? The first thing that you wanna do is you wanna release kind of the bottom part of your foot. So what I'm gonna do here is I, I'm just gonna raise up my foot a little bit, okay? And then I'm gonna go and kind of shift my weight here. I'm gonna shift my weight with both my, my forward leg kind of as straight as I can, as well as it being bent, okay? This could be up against the wall, it can be, I'm gonna have a little yoga block here. Um, anything that's gonna make it so you can increase the angle of your foot, so you can see how that's gonna raise it up. Again, you know, probably going up against the wall, we better really trying to get that pretty high angle is gonna be how you get the most effectiveness out of the exercise, okay? Another thing is going to be to go up onto this um, boxes could be a stool, anything that's going to just raise you up and just kind of increase your ability to dorsiflex. What dorsiflexion is, is being able to bring that shortening the ankle between that or the angle between your knee and foot. So what I'm doing here is I'm just squatting down, touching, coming back up. Okay, I'm going to face this way as well so you guys can get a better look. See how I'm keeping my heel down. I'm trying to keep my chest up as I squat down, come back up. Okay, squat down. Come back up. Make sure that heel's staying down. The further you reach out with this opposite foot, the better your range of motion in that in that ankle is. Okay, so that's going to be really important as well. Whoops. Um, and then the last thing, or another another important part, is going to be just kind of stretching the um, that back fascia. Okay, so what I'm going to do this is an ASL exercise, what it's called. So I'm going to wrap a band. You can also have like a rope just right around my leg. And when I'm doing that, I'm going to extend in my knee. Okay, so now everything should be nice and straight here, really putting a lot of stretch into my hamstring back to the calf. Then from there, I'm just gonna raise and lower this leg. Okay, I'm gonna really try to keep that um, opposite foot, like that toe pointing towards my head as I'm going up and down. And I'm really trying to push forward with that front knee to keep that range of motion good. This is really gonna be primarily for my right leg, okay? Now, some ideas for what you could do without any of the tools would be primarily work on your balance, okay? So take one foot, take the other one, and just go and kind of wrap that um, foot right behind your knee. And then from there, I'm just gonna go and work on my range of motion. So I'm using my, um, my up knee to really be able to support my weight as I'm rotating, okay? Another big thing that we also don't usually have a lot of range of motion is, is if I bring my hands up overhead, I'm just gonna kind of shift my hips side to side and be able to stabilize as well. Okay, both of these are, are not easy things to do, but will really provide a lot of benefit for you if you have that plantar fasciitis. Now I would say, because there'll be a lot of toe grabbers, make sure that you're kind of relaxing those toes as you're going through these exercises. You shouldn't be gripping really hard there. If you are, try to relax the toes, be able to get that balance through kind of the, the middle part, the arch of your foot, and that'll take a lot of the pressure off, okay? Those are really the four main exercises of what we want to do in order to better your condition as a, uh, you know, from the plantar fasciitis perspective. Um, if you have any questions, please let us know. I would start out and end up with the stretch, okay? Another idea would be take a lacrosse ball, you know, you can roll around in that as well. I wanna give you those some functionality, some exercise that'll fix it. If you just do the roll, the, the rolling of like a lacrosse ball, you're gonna need to continue to go back to that over and over and over again, which is not gonna be effective, okay? We wanna make it so, 
yeah, we can address the pain, but we want to make sure you get, get out of the pain as well. That's where like the ASL exercise will come. That's where the balance exercise will come. That dorsiflexion up on the box. All those are going to help out a lot in order to make sure that you're able to get over the exercise. Okay. So um, that's the video. If you have any questions, please reach out to us. My email is Maury, M-O-R-E-Y, at yourperformancelab.com. Um, as always, you know, we want to hear more feedback about what are some other videos that we could provide. But also, if, you have, if this pertains to you and you have any further questions, we'd love to be able to help you out. Okay, also, if you're looking into our breakdown system, so we can send in a, you know, a little more personalization. You can send in a video for uh, speed or throw breakdown, send in different angles. We'll break it down, tell you exactly what exercise you could do, how you're able to better yourself there. Also, check out our membership page. This is going to make it so, you know, we, right now we have a free membership, free month that you're going to be able to go in and purchase and be able to see all our videos. This is going to be one in our um, paid member section. So, you know, if you're, if you're here, you're, you're probably checking it out through our online membership. And so, you know, if you're, if you're further interested, you know, sign up for either the month or the full year. So, as always, thanks for watching and we will see you soon. Thank you.